Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of our Skyrim Let's Play. Uh, following on from our last one, we've made it back to Dragon's Reach. We've gave the Dragon Stone back to Farangar, and it turns out a dragon. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. Thanks for interrupting me. Has been spotted nearby. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. I running from them. Gotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. So a couple things. I can't afford to risk both. Firstly, I seem more qualified than anyone else to go and fight this dragon because I ha because I have experience from hauling ass away from the previous dragon. I never fought it. I ran like fuck. How does that make me more qualified? These guys are actual fighters. They protect your city. It's their job. All right. And also, sending me on a death mission. And then seeing, oh, by the way, if you survive, you can come back and buy a house. It's bullshit. And you know it. Anyway. Okay, so this is going to be our first taste of dragons in this playthrough. Uh, I've just pressed the sneak button. <laughs> and playing some Borderlands, uh, trying to get that Let's Play wrapped up. Let's go get some food. That'll do. All right, I think, honestly, though, with... Um, Oh, what's that? Vilkis asks you to take his sword to the blacksmith. Uh, and he's ready to sell it to the first comer. Okay. So... We can buy Vilkis' sword. I might have a look at that, actually. Not to use it, just out of curiosity. How much does he sell it for? What sort of damage is... You also can't sprint and jump in this game, which I find bullshit. Got a lot of steel to shape. What have you got for sale? Gods be praised. That's not an answer. Gods be praised is not an answer to that question. Well, Vilkus's sword isn't here. You must have to do the um, the companion quest, uh, so you can buy Skyforge steel stuff from him. Mm -hmm. I'll let you go. You've got a lot of steel to shape. All right, so we've got Janassa. He's going to do okay. It's a shame that we didn't pick up Mercurial down in Riften for this fight. But he's not that useful outside of that. I mean, he's he's certainly well qualified to be a companion. But um, well, we need a tank, and Janassa is not ideal. But she she's all we have. I don't know if I would do well in a fist fight with Uthgard. But she might also be a good shout. I try that. If I survive this, I get back. We'll try that. Let's get over here. Getting some serious frame drops there. No idea why it is it's cold either. I mean, this is a nice clear sky. Okay, this is where we need to wait. I'm getting an awful lot of judder. I wonder why. Right, let's wait here for an hour. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. 
And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere, spread out and look for survivors. Okay, so first thing, we're definitely using a storm matronach for this one. And I do want to get some orc flesh up. I doubt it'll make a difference, but it'll get some um get some skill at least. Whoa, where's Froki and Tor? No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Froki and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Oh no. Where's this dragon? Quickly now! I don't know. Here we go. Ruin's edge up. Oh, he looks decent. Look at that. How are we doing damage wise? Perfect. Well, we're not doing much. But we're doing some. Oh, Atronach's still up. It's a bonus. There it goes. We've got it. That was a miss. Bringing a miss. Boom. It's down. Let me just check, uh, FPS boost is on. Feels like we're running at 30. Okay, we're definitely taking those. I think I'm going to give that to Janassa. We're one of the same kind, you and I. Okay. If that is what now that that animation's done with, you can have. I don't think that enchantment would apply. She can have it anyway. And that's not good enough for her to wear. <laughs> Never mind. I could give her a funny hat. There we go. Hey. Let's go. Like, this is going to come in super handy now because it only takes 10 seconds to recharge. Oh, that was what I meant to do. And what might you, if that is what you wish? I need you to hold the bones. Don't ask questions. Oh, you can have all that shit. Lead on then. That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in, and I've been in more than a few. I don't okay. know about this dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. You better get back to wipe right Yes, I'm way ahead of you. I'm going to get back to Dragon's Reach. Normally they gather around and do the whole, you're dragonborn. Uh, they do all that, don't they? That, um, that lodge flickering. When it comes to noble, I just I can't get rid of. Takes a little while for it to uh, to come in. Oh, 
Oh, reminded to myself that I need to check how we're doing for food. Okay. Ah, we've got plenty. Well, we killed the dragon. We, uh... We can now shout. And we want to find out what the Yarl of Whiterun has to say about it. Some crazy old guys up on a mountain have been in touch. Asked us to swing by. I'll consider it. That's a half decent journey on survival mode, that though. Go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to. Good afternoon. A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are okay. welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. I'm not bothered about whys. Just the who's. Not the wise. So I think we'll go up and speak to the Yarl. And then we'll have a little consider of what's next. I'll um, maybe pause the recording. Have a little bit of a ponder. Now that dragons are around. And uh, see what we can do. See what's on the agenda. It might, I see it might be time to do a little bit of, um, a little bit grinding. Good, you're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting for you. Good old Bakunichi. Summons. What the else bitch. Could it mean? The group. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Yup. I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it. Than Irileth did fuck all, I'll have you know. It was me, Janassa, and my Atronach that did the uh, the majority of the damage. When the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do they want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries. Fuck, you're a big dude. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was the Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Keep going. Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this... Hey, you lucky. Dragonborn. Your nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. <laughs> yeah. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding Get of the First Empire. Rangar. Get him, Rongo. Don't know. That's not hard enough. Go get him. What do these greybeards want with her? That's the greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever. None of your fucking business. Nosy he prick. Shut up. Done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of White Run. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a Ooh. personal house carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? <laughs> we <laughs> oh no, we shan't. <laughs> yes, indeed, good sir. <laughs> good day to you. Did you fucking look at me again? Look at me again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? Bye, Hrangar. Aha. Uh -huh. Fuck you, Janassa. I've got a new girl. Disconnected from the troubles. The Jarl has appointed me to be your housecarl. 
It's an honor to serve you. Hmm, yes it is. Lydia. Right, Janassa, I would like them bones back, please. If that is what you wish. It is. And we will let you keep everything else. Not the hat. That's mine. It is a lonely thing facing all the dangers of Skyrim by yourself. It is. Reforming the dawn oh, please, Lydia, Vampire. don't run from me. Lydia, please. She means nothing to me. Give me a second chance. Stop running. Aha. Uh -huh. Cornered. Your sword lead the way. I've got your back. How can I serve you, my Thane? You can serve me by carrying my bones. Ta, darling, ta. Okay, let's go uh, disenchant some stuff over here. Yeah, we definitely don't need that. Nope. 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 I don't want to get rid of those. And that's not going to be much use to me now, so I might as well do that. Okay, let's take a quick look at the apparel we have. Yeah, we've got that equipped, that's good. And uh, we probably need to sell some stuff. Definitely need to make a stop. And uh, we've got everything we need in the weapons category. Got some uh, makeshift scrolls. Got a bunch of ingredients and we're just not doing alchemy yet. Um, it might be worth doing a little trip to get a house. We haven't got enough money to buy one. But we have uh, Merwatch from the Creation Club. So we'll be able to... Um, Getting an orc save in there by accident. We'll be able to go and um, get that for free. But that is in Morthal. So we'll probably sell some shit. Uh, here in Whiterun. Then we will make our way to Morthal. And get Merwatch. Now, I'm not going to be using the armory. Full disclosure. This is not the kind of... Normally what I would do if, if, I, was, if I was playing this on my own. I would... Um, I'd buy pretty much every house in the game, including the Creation Club stuff. And I would kit it out with all my unique weapons. I would do a sort of 100% run through, grab all the weapons I could, and I'd kit it out. However, this is going to be more of an efficient playthrough. I will keep all the unique stuff that I find, for the most part. But I won't be, you know, filling up displays and things. Just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any. Probably just chuck them in a chest. Everything. Some may call this junk. If you guys wanna want me to do some form of review on some Creation Club content, I have no qualms with um, you know, sparking up a second save and covering any of that individually. I can do that. That's not a problem. Mod reviews are more of an issue because I have a full mod list for the sake of this let's play. And then swapping them out just to review a mod and then swapping them all back in when I'm going to play this again. It's just too much work for me. And it's not going to happen. But Creation Club stuff. There. And I can disable mods and I can do the Creation Club stuff on its own. Any of this worth money? Oh, let's go and get rid of the jewellery stuff first. Yeah, he's out. Yeah, you can have that. Five quid, I'll let him off. Do come back. Oh, I will. <laughs> oh, Bellathor, you're too much. <laughs> oh. Let's uh, have a look. See if there's any enchanted arrows, maybe. Hmm. Battle of Champions. Oh, I've already activated it. It's fine. Ah, how my heart soars. Bows and arrows for the mighty huntsman. 
No. Damn it. Orca shadows. Bit expensive. Elven arrows. Ooh. 19 quid per arrow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Crafting feathers. Oh, yes, we've got ERS Metallica on, haven't we? Well, we could probably, uh, when it comes to grinding some levels, Thank you very much for your we could probably get away with doing smithing quite easily in that case. Um, because we have ERS Metallica, we can smelt down weapons. Then it will give us plenty of uh, resources. We'll also be able to go and mine and get skills from mining, tanning, all of that sort of jazz. So that'll be quite... Uh, I was going to say quite entertaining. It'll be entertaining for me. I don't think it'll be entertaining for you. So, oh, I've done it again. Because in Borderlands, the uh, the sprint button is clicking the left stick, which is the same as the sneak button in uh, Skyrim. So when I bounce between the two, that seems to be the main thing that I get wrong. Okay, we could do this two ways. We could ride out to Morthal. Which would include going by Rorikstead, and then north, and then back east, towards Morthal. I could do the pass through the mountains, but I just don't think I want to. There's a couple of places along here that would be handy for um, quest purposes later, just having the map markers. Oh no, we can't, we can't fast travel, so having the map markers is sort of irrelevant uh, for speed or ease. So we could possibly... Then again, is that Labyrinthian? Yeah, this one's Labyrinthian, so we're definitely not going to go through Labyrinthian uh, just yet. Not at all. So yeah, it's going to be the safer way to go around that way. Or, alternatively, because what we're better stuff doing, we'll, we'll, we'll go f sort this Merwatch shit out, drop some gear there, and then we'll head north from Morthal up to Solitude. And we'll do a little, do our round in solitude. That sounds uh, sounds good to me. So yeah, I think for the sake of speed, we'll go use the carriage. We've got the money. I definitely prefer to have the um, the homestead around the corner of yeah. around the corner from here, but I don't have the money. Where do you want to go? Not for that. Yeah, we'll go to Morthal, please. We'll be off. No worries. We'll clear up soon. I'm sure of it. I can take you. To yeah, so we'll get a we'll get a Morthal. We'll quickly do this mer watch. Uh, quest get inside of there and then we'll um, our horse is here fantastic we're just going to do a quick dodge through town wait for this shit to get out of the way what's the you going to do about it how are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes please enough already I have told Igrid of your concerns she'll look after you all please go about your business there's no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough. Ah, they'll be uh, they'll be talking about Falian, Alien. Depends how you not want to pronounce that. Let's go up and around the corner, please. Now, there is a chorus round here that we will have to take care of. We have a Storm Atronach that we can summon though, so that's going to be handy. Right there. Oh, you saw it in one? Jeez Louise. Huh? That was the noise. Ah, fuck! He's there! Where's my Atronach? Damn 
Did my Atronach die straight away? Did you get him? I'm going to do a Frost Atronach if he dies. Fact there. Go get him. Killed him. Cool. Right, let's get the healing on. Okay, so I'm going to give you the short version here. I'm going to take them torches off him. And in fact, I'm going to grab the torch. I'm curious. Can I bash this with a torch? I've never tried that. No, it's got to be the flames. There it is. Little bunny rabbit appears. Take those goes and lights this little well poof up it goes and we may enter easy peasy now we've got a house I, say, I don't need you thanks ok so we can rest our weary head And that would be the armory in there, the gallery. Okay, what we want to do is we want to have a little somewhere we can chuck our alchemy ingredients just on the fly. Ah, fuck it. Here we go, there's the enchanting area. Here's our alchemy lab. We've got a little satchel here, we'll use this. And the only reason I'm normally I would just keep them with us for the most part, unless I had just insane amounts of things. But I'm gonna get rid of them for the sake of weight. Every little bit helps. Sorry for the clicking. There we go. We might start planting some stuff here. Um, I think the the combo is the highest value portion you can make from plantable ingredients comes from Scaly, Foliota, Free Cluster, and it's either Mora Tapanella or Impstool. I can't remember which one it was. I think it's Mora Tapanella. But yeah, we could plant some of that shit. We'd be able to make some uh, some half decent leveling portions and and value portions with that. But you can see here we've got racks for Ethereal Shield, Targe of the Blooded, Spellbreaker, and this is all dead cool. You know, if you fill out one armory, it's the same with the other houses. If you fill the one out, it looks super cool. My problem with them, and this is the the, the review side of things coming out, is that. You only get one of these items unless you're playing a modded game. So the Dawnguard Rune Shield, I only have one of, even if I do go and get it, obviously, without mods. Um, there's racks in the other homes that are specifically for the Dawnguard Rune Shield. If I put it here, I can't put it there. And that means the other house looks shit compared to the other. So you've got to choose them. They don't complement each other very well. Oh. It's our enchantment skill going up a bit quicker. Is there any for our alchemy? Oh, more tapanella. Let's get you planted. Lovely. We can get rid of that torch now. I don't know why I'm carrying that. Okay, so the time's 8pm. We'll rest. 
get a good 12 hours in because I don't want it to be too cold out there in the marsh. Ah, yeah. Just hurt my elbow. <laughs> and then we'll grab a, bear, a bite to eat. I think there's some food over there on the table, actually. Which might be uh, useful for stocking up. Okay. Could be useful to put our apples here. As, uh, no, our, our apples. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Food. Yeah. Keep our tomatoes there. Tomatoes. Grab some food. And we're good to go. Let's make our way north to solitude, and then we'll probably call it an episode. Because that's enough for one little run. Like I said, I'm trying to keep um, these to a half an hour each. Where's my fucking horse? Oh, seriously? Oh, hold on. Let's have a look at the uh, the map real quick. Find the necromancer and the strange cre strange creatures. Yeah, we'll do that on the way. We could potentially get a bone wolf companion, which does have some hidden benefits. Uh, I believe you get. It doesn't do any damage to anyone <laughs> and it um it can't be damaged by anyone but it does have a passive um active effect on you i can't remember what it is i think it's you do more damage to undead by having them there with you where am i going North, please. That was the idea. Come on, let's sprint. There it is. Is this oh my good grief I've went the complete wrong way <laughs> I was I was thinking I'm sure it doesn't get snowy between Morthal and uh, Solitude not for the most part it's just me being a moron see that big castle on the hill come on Brian that's where we're going set your sights on your bike. Oh, someone just... Yep, there's a spider. We're getting a little cold. Cars back again. Need to get around this rock face. Come on, Skyrim horse. Go, go, Skyrim horse. Uh, I believe Falgunther. Has a dragon priest inside? Or is it one of the golders? I think it's one of the golders actually. Oh shit, here we go. Alright, we're using a stormy. Because it's a mage. I'm gonna go for Oak Flesh real quick. And Ruin's Edge.
There he is. Got him. Stop running, please. I love this bow. Look at that. Because he's a... Uh, because he's under the fear enchantment, he's not attacking us. Okay, I'll take that, take that. Uh, I'll take those, they're worth money. Come with me. Cool. Bone Wolf's revenge added. Increased damage on the undead by 25% while Bone Wolf is in your company. Sweet. Alright, we don't need a horse for now. Oh, well, actually we do. <laughs> I don't want to lose loads of health uh, swimming across there. This is where something like convenient horses would come in dead handy. It's a... Uh, a really good mod but it's super script heavy and I've um, personally I, I, I have found that it does slow my game especially over time the Judd is here I, that, that might be because of the amount of grass actually um, I used a smaller uh, any tweak than I did on the first uh, round of mods, so I might have to go back and, and decrease the volume of grass even further. This may not be entertaining to watch, but this is sort of what you need to do. Oh, not under the boat, please, please. Come on. That's it. Get up. There you go. Don't mind me. What is that? There's dwarven shit on that boat. Excuse me. Excuse me. Horsey coming through. Oh, that camera shit's horrible. Whoa! Whoa! I wish the uh, the Skyrim camera was a little more fluid. Here we go. Lovely, we made it. Alright guys, well, thank you for watching. This is going to be the end of the episode. In the next episode, we will witness Rogvia's execution. And we'll um, we'll be doing a couple of trips to the Blue Palace. And just doing some uh, odd jobs around Solitude. Maybe he's getting some more quests for the road. And we might take Meridia's beacon back. I don't think I'll do the, uh, the quest, the dungeon, because obviously it's a deed request. It's probably a much higher level now than it used to be. Um, but we'll take the beacon back so that it's no longer in the inventory and then we've got the um, the choice of going in there when we fancy, you know. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Brian. This is Botched Up Games. And remember, if you can't beat them, botch them. Take care. <laughs>